Tonight, a two investigation. Did a local breeder sell sick puppies? This family brought home an adorable German Shepherd, and within days, the puppy got sick with a potentially deadly virus. Pam Zeckman reports on the outbreak. Puppies for sale at Middle West Shepherds are bred on site or imported from Germany. The finest world class puppies, their website says, that are strong, sound, and healthy. But Kale, the $4,500 puppy Tanya and Tim Barry bought, got sick a few days after they brought him home. He was very lethargic, vomiting, diarrhea, did not want to eat, did not want to drink. And my only thought was that he was going to die. Kale tested positive for the parvovirus and was hospitalized for five days at a cost of more than $1,300. It's just a nightmare. And when she said that if we take him home, he could die, I'm like, are you serious? When Kale's owners told the breeder that he had a serious case of parvo, she said it could not have happened in her facility. Those puppies coming in from Germany with parvo, I mean, it's not something that could have been, you know, foreseen. McHenry County Animal Control reports include a violation notice for failing to provide veterinary care for two puppies that turned out to have parvo. Experts say getting puppies with parvo symptoms to a vet fast is critical because it's highly contagious. You see puppies in extreme pain and agony even with treatment. Like this puppy, one of seven in a litter born at Middle West that all died from parvo this year. They weren't saved, but they certainly the effort was made. In all, we know of more than a dozen puppies that got parvo. In February, the Illinois Department of Agriculture placed a quarantine on the facility. That quarantine was lifted 18 days later due to the puppies not showing any signs or symptoms and Middle West being cleaned and disinfected. Could there be other puppies out there that were sold at around the time that this happened that have parvo and you haven't heard about it? No, it's not possible. But Megan Switchakowski purchased her puppy after the quarantine was lifted, and three days later, it tested positive for parvo. They need to make sure that there are no more sick dogs and that they're all being treated. Martinez says she believes Megan's puppy got a false positive, but agreed to pay for the vet bills and refund half Megan's money and all of the berries. She also says she routinely provides vet care. Inspectors revisited Middle West last week and found no evidence of parvo. And Robin Erica, they will be following this case closely. Okay. Pam, thank you.